So phenols are going to be the final topic in this area of amine chemistry. If I draw out what phenol looks like, I'm sure you'll be excited. It's got scary. a benzene ring with an oxygen and a hydrogen. Good point. Is it like an alcohol? It is an alcohol. It's got an electrical. Oh, okay. Is it an alcohol? If you saw that, you're right. You'd expect that to behave like an alcohol, wouldn't you? Doesn't. What type of you'd expect it to behave like a yeah um, so well, a bit like a tertiary alcohol I suppose. Um, yeah, the benzene ring has a massive effect. Oh, mine looks really weird. The benzene ring has a big effect on that group. And to understand why, we're going to try and draw out the bonding. So, you're right, initially you look at that and you think, alcohol, bulk sand is going to behave exactly like AF chemistry. It doesn't. So, let's try and draw out the bonding. And again, I'm going to attempt to do this in 3D. And then we'll, you'll then see how it behaves. So, there's my benzene ring. Let's pop on my high delocalized electrons. Coming off of that, I've got oxygen and a hydrogen there. And I'm going to draw up my delocalized electrons above below the ring and then we'll see the effect of oxygen. So nothing too extraordinary there. What's oxygen got in it? Two lens pairs. Two lens pairs, yeah. Well spotted. They are in P orbitals. So that oxygen has got a P orbital that looks like that, which has got a lone pair on it. So what can that lone pair do with these guys here? Bond. Yeah. They can overlap, can't they? Like so they can all line up nicely and they can overlap. So do we draw a pi bond on A as well? Uh, yeah, put a P. And we can say that we have a um, partial overlap of P orbital on oxygen. Two ears on the oxygen, and they look more red like the other ones. So can we? I'm, I'm just putting them in black so you can see that they're different to the. So they're different. It's a, well, this is my these are my delocalized electrons okay. in the benzene ring. This is a p orbital on my oxygen atom, which is overlapping. So, is it, so they're all p orbitals. Right? They're all p orbitals. Yeah. And the p orbital would be exactly the lone pair. That's my lone pair in here. Yeah. What's the other two? That's my second lone pair, which isn't getting involved. Oh, I see. Yeah. I can remove them if you like. Each two rings, the P orbital is one lone pair. So I've got this, this. So this is that a double here. bond? It's only a partial double bond. 
that contains in there two electrons, which is my lone pair. I only contains one lone pair. Why is it the second lone pair as well? Because the second one is at a different angle. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they can't line up. The key thing is you've got one of your lone pairs lining up and popping his electrons into that delocalized ring. So Wait, what's going to be... Is that pyrion sentence with delocalized pi bonds? Yeah. What's going to be the effect on oxygen? What am I doing in terms of, am I adding electrons to the oxygen or removing electrons? Removing. I'm oh, well. removing electrons, yep, you're right. I'm removing electrons from the oxygen because they're going in. What's going to happen to my delocalized electrons? They get an extra one? Yeah, they get an extra. So they'll get more electrons here. And this, I'm kind of removing electrons from that. So that means that this low pair is being partially delocalized in this ring of electrons. So I've got partial delocalized electrons of my um, low pair of oxygen, which affects the properties of that oxygen atom there. So if we were asked to explain it, we just 